Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from the Francophile. It's Jalen and Maria and we hope you all are doing well. We are two Americans who live and work in France and in today's video we are going to be hanging out in Palaiso. public holiday in France and usually on the weekends we try to do at least something fun and usually that's going to Paris and exploring mm -hmm. but since it's a public holiday we knew there would be a lot of crowds and we didn't really feel like dealing with that today so we decided to stay closer to where we live and have a fun day here. Yeah so right now it's about 10 30 a.m and the first thing that we thought would be a good idea to start off this slow morning is head to a boulangerie and get some pastries if we can find one that's open. to find a boulangerie that was open and as you can see we both got espresso and I got a croissant and Maria got a croissant aux amandes. So we made it back home after breakfast and now we are going to be making and packing a lunch because we are going to be spending the rest of the day outside and once we get going we will explain to you where we're going. Right now we're at the RER 
car station because we're going to take it one stop away, which will take us to the other side of town so that we can start our walking path. We recently found out that our city has four walking routes planned out that are supposed to help you kind of discover the city. And since we haven't been here for that long, only since March, we still haven't seen a lot of stuff, especially not um, on the other side of town where we're going. So that's what we're doing today and we'll show you what we discover along the way. So we have started our walk and the path is supposed to be about 8.5 kilometers and as you can see we've done our first stop here in the Parc Henri Poincaré. Um, it's a really nice wooded area, tons of shade, there's tables and benches um, and so it's really nice and it's actually named after a famous mathematician uh, who lived right around here uh, in the 19th century. us here we've arrived at the second stop on our walking path and it is La Maison des Pins which is a house that was owned by Charles Peggy. He was a famous author and poet and while he lived here he wrote the majority of his most famous works. So here for our third stop, we have made it to Le Square de Lozère, which houses a piece of the trunk of a Lebanese cedar tree that was 189 years old before it was knocked down during a storm in 1999. Hey everyone, editing Jalen and Maria here for a voiceover because I forgot to record something about us arriving at our next destination on the walking path. The fourth destination is the Lac de Lozère, which is a lake that was made in 1830 in order to control the course of the local Yvette River. We're going to go check it out and see what it's all about. And apparently there are picnic tables, benches, and piers over the water. So we thought it would be a nice idea to have a quick outdoor lunch together.
After a bit of a hike, we are now at our fifth destination. We're here at the Parc Cholon, which inside the park, you can see right behind us, there are uh, something called Les Roches Bleues. And it's actually an old sandstone and burstone quarry that was used to make the cobblestones for the streets of Paris. walked down the street and noticed the name and it says right here Reims it has an H but that's another spelling and that's the town that we used to live in made it to the final stop of the walking path. We are right here at the home of Jacques Audiberti. He was a poet, author, and playwright, and he bought this house in 1951 and stayed here regularly until he died in saw a lot of stuff that we wouldn't have otherwise known to go looking for. So I think that this day convinced us to try the other walking routes. So let us know in a comment if you'd be interested in seeing those as well. And I think that's all we have for you all today. We hope that you enjoyed hanging out with us here in Parizo. And uh, please don't forget to follow us on all of our social media. We do have Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and our blog. And we will see you all in two weeks. Bye.